Dad just rolled up. I didn't get to I'm gonna surprise him with it, dude. Hello. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? All right, I'll come over here. I pulled the bike up here, and I seen this truck coming. I didn't think much of it. And I started walking the house, and I heard a truck pulling in the driveway. So I was, you know, just like this. And then Dad rolls up, and he's staring at me I'm like, Tristan, get the camera! <laughs> I just called Dad. He's back on the way over here. I don't know if he's like, oh, shit. Just kind of ruined the surprise. I better just dip <laughs> or what. If Dad takes to it. I was just talking to my mom about it. I just showed her the bike. Uh, we just got done filming the last video. I wasn't really planning on filming. We are supposed to show this to Dad like some other time. But you know, he's he's here now. So if you guys don't know what's going on, I just bought an electric free ride. My dad, man, he got into riding because I got into it and he just took it. He took it and ran. Dad got really good at riding. He rode without me. He was so fast, I got tired of riding with him because couldn't keep up, bro. <laughs> His stamina was just he never stopped, but this is the bike. Now he had a 2017 and it was a 200cc two stroke, but a free ride, a KTM free ride. But this one's electric, which is dope. I didn't necessarily buy it for him, but I think we're gonna end up. If he jumps on it and he loves it, he's keeping it. Like, he can have it. He lives across the road, he comes over to my house once a month. He just rolls up. I was just telling mom, I was like, yeah, he doesn't even know we got it, bro. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, bro. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. There's the man. Hey, yo. Did you, did you, uh, see what I had? Yeah, I did. <laughs> So uh, dad kind of ruined the fun, but uh, yeah, so that, that plug I was texting you about is for the free ride. It's all electric. You gotta sit on it. See if you, is, is it still the bike for you or what? Bringing back old memories or what? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to be smaller. That's what I thought too. But until you like sit on the new bikes side by side, you don't realize that it is smaller. Hey Christian, we gotta throw a GoPro on them, bro. Okay, let's yeah, go. Yeah, go, go get a GoPro on them. We're gonna mess up that fancy hair. I've been waiting on this day for a while. I've been itching to see you back on a bike. We're going riding this weekend. Do you want to go? Nah, 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 we won't let you get hurt. I always thought the ledger was supposed to be real torquey. So, from when I was riding it, it wasn't like super torquey, like down low. It just didn't have a whole lot of power. Like, it kind of made me nervous, like wheeling up on the logs and stuff. Like, it wasn't going to have enough juice. It tops out at 50, but like from 20 miles an hour to 40, it's like holding on to a racehorse. It takes off, but your low end's not that great. I'm going to throw you in uh, the, the second power mode because the first literally has nothing. The 110 would outrun it. All right, there's first power mode. They don't have a clutch. How do you pull up a wheelie? Well, I guess it does. No, that's a rear brake. Kind of like your old bike, right? That's another thing that kind of got me to buy it. It's already got the rear brake set up for you, but you don't have the pedal. You're missing out on the pedal. But did you used to use the pedal much? No, I didn't. So it's, it's ready to roll, just like your bike, except electric. I got to hold this down, click it one more time. All right, we're in second power mode. He is on. I think you just got to hold that green button and it's ready to rock. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> Yeah. Do we got a bigger helmet? That's where I got my big ass head from, bro. That's where my big head came I don't from, think dog. You have a bigger helmet than that. You have the biggest head out of everybody. <laughs> no, nah, we got one somewhere. All right, boys, we got a little helmet set up. We're, we're ready, mic'd up, ready for dad. Dad was at my house for, you know, three or four minutes. Come, come look what he did. <laughs> Just being destructive and shit. <laughs> gotta re rock the fireplace. Yeah, dad. You ready for your first ride on a free ride? When was the last time you rushed? It's been two years. Has it already been two No years? kidding. Holy shit. That is wild. All right, well, here's your helmet. Oh, well, let me get this started. You never know what that could jump on it and be a pro, or you could jump on it and send her to the moon and break everything. We don't know yet. We'll find out here in a second. Yeah, mom done, done told me. Don't get hurt. You're in the second power mode, so it's nothing crazy. We are not having a glitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why does everyone just hop right on it and give it the juice? Maybe it's a good thing we put them in the, the second power mode. I don't know how quick it is. I haven't even used it yet. It's so weird to not have a clutch. Yeah, right? It's super weird. This is what dad would do. Like when dad broke his back, he just came out here and like just did circles in the yard. He loved it. <laughs> he just he, he loves going slow. You gotta master going slow before you can master going fast. First impressions, what do you think? Uh, it seems like it'd be hard to learn how to finesse it without yeah. a clutch. Yeah, yes. I think it's thing. all throttle. But like if you go and stomp on it, you'll notice. I don't know what it's the second power mode's like, but like in the third power mode, 20 to 40 just zooms. The low wind's just not like extremely there. <laughs> we gotta get him back to the deer club, bro. That's like where me and dad first ever rode. He's gonna be hooked. We gotta get him back on a bike, bro. Oh my goodness. Ah! It's very weird not having a clutch. But it is nice that you're already used to having a, the handbrake. Well, go to the compound. I'm gonna jump on a pit bike and follow you. Go, Britton, go. All right, I kinda wish we had two electric bikes. I need to just be back there all quiet and see right. the shit. The neighbors would have no clue. Stealth mode, baby. Stealth mode. Slithering like snakes. Christian, come on. Hop on back. All right, all right, all right. Go see what dad's getting into. You want to race punk? All right, he's in the second power mode, so I might actually have him. All right, let's do a drag. You ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness, he's falling. <laughs> Bro, he just took off. 
That's in second power mode. I didn't think it was that fast, but apparently it is. The third power mode's pretty, pretty right. That's that's the fast mode. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy Dad's back on a bike, bro. <laughs> hey, this is not what he was expecting when he got off work today. I'll tell you that. It's been forever since we've been in the dirt bike game. Literally has been forever. Like. Literally, dirt bikes is what started my channel, bro. It got morphed into like a four-wheeler mudding channel, but you kind of, we just kind of stopped with the dirt bikes. But we got to bring them back. We need a good mix. I know a lot of y'all miss them. A little bit muddy out here. Yeah, it is muddy. <laughs> Dude, he's sitting straight up. I definitely thought he was loofing right there. Oh, he's going straight for it. Dude, ain't... Bro, I wouldn't have done... Are you fucking serious? Freaking dad, he just goes wherever. It doesn't matter. He loves it. He puts everybody to shame because he's not scared of shit. Oh, man, I haven't rode on the pit bike track forever oh i miss it we gotta get the pit bikes out and race again dude but you know there's all this water on the track like come look over here bro i mean literally this this turn i mean should we just send it Twenty thousand likes and we'll just send it we'll race pit bikes through this shit we'll just ruin the absolutely ruin the track for one one rip one fun rip hit the whoops ah so scary where's that Oh shit, there he is. <laughs> he loves it, man. He misses it. Bro, I guarantee he's gonna wanna get back out here and rip again. I'm gonna go follow dad around just to watch what he does. Oh, oh. Right. This is where the rear brakes come in handy. Yeah, the rear brakes on the bars come in clutch right there. You can, it's just it's right there. But that's another thing. With it being electric, you just can't dump the clutch and kill it. You do have to hold on to that rear brake because it wants it, you know, it'll just be like it's in neutral all the time if you're not on the throttle. Dad thinks he's all slick on the electric free ride. Watch this shit, baby. Oh, fuck, I bottomed out. Ah! Oh, here he comes. <laughs> to me, that bike, it being electric, it feels very easy. Like, there's nothing to it. Like, you're not running a clutch. It just feels like almost a party. I don't know. Maybe more like a, more controllable like a bicycle or something. Which I also thought. So, everyone always talks about with a, with a motor, like a two-stroke or something. Th that piston slapping up and down creates some kind of like, I don't know what the word is. It's like some kind of fancy word. It, it helps keep you upright. But with that electric bike, there's no real vibration. There's no nothing. Oh, Hello. And so it's uh, very easy to, I don't know, balance, I guess. One of the withdrawals from that without the clutch, without this, without that. I'm not, I, you know, I only got 45 minutes to an hour on the bike. So I don't know what my rear tire is doing when I'm riding it. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's about to slip out here, if I'm going to give it too much juice. Because with the clutch, you can feather it. Well, you ain't got that no more. Holy shit, Dad. Me and Garrett, the, like the last three nights, we've been watching like old dirt bike videos, like the old compound and stuff. Freaking crazy. We found one video when I had 162 subs. <laughs> and I was like, thanking everybody to me down low it's not that predictable but everywhere else i can kind of predict it but my biggest thing with that bike is you're not slipping the clutch so i feel like i have less control over the rear tires like how it's spinning and grabbing you know your clutch is like a fail safe for if you have whiskey throttle yeah but there's no fail safe yeah. now yeah, no, it's, it's, you give it too much you give it too much and it's, it's doing what it's doing you don't remember the old compound bro the old compound back this was back when dad ride i mean he had like six by sixes all lined up to where you jump up on the six by sixes and ride them across and follow the six by six and you had to stay up on top of them just like real just yeah dumb shit all the big tires that you see dirt filled up in the center to where you could jump up on top of them and shit we're gonna come out here like next week and it's all gonna be like that again big logs and shit to jump over giant rock piles and shit he's gonna get out here in the skidder and uh start start organizing some stuff for us <laughs> i'm telling you whether you like it or not you're going riding with us one of my problems though is like you know i had three vertebrae fused to my neck now the weight of this helmet is not good for that carbon fiber bicycle helmet mama sold mine well it looks like we're getting you another one I'm not going to be able to get that thing back. <laughs> it's fucking his now at this point. Look at him, bro. He doesn't want to get off of it. <laughs> Look, he's just smiling, bro. He's living life, baby. Maybe we should have bought two. Let me ride it real quick. I haven't rode it in this power setting, so I want to see what it's like. Oh, my gosh. It's so weird not having noise. So weird. All oh, this power setting's pretty, uh, I mean, it's not like as powerful as three, but it's pretty powerful. Gonna go through the water. <laughs> the electric bike in the water, I'm about to get shot. I could get used to that, uh, rear brake. I'm gonna throw in the top power set. I don't think it's a whole lot more than two, though. One's very low, though. Yeah, you're down low, still not, like, extremely powerful. But it gets up and goes a lot faster, baby. Holy cow. Yeah, I could definitely tell the power difference. I feel like the down low power is kind of the same as two, but this has more up and go when you get into the throttle. Ah! Yeah, I could get used to that handbrake. Ah! <laughs> it's in three now, but the down low is still not like super torquey. It's definitely a lot more get up and go after like 10 miles an hour. I love that bike going over those whoops. It just, it feels right. I feel so natural on that bike. Oh yeah, there it goes. 
I think dirt bikes are back. We got dad back into it, bro. He hasn't touched a bike in forever. I don't know what about it makes it so smooth, but it's butter. Oh shit, oh shit. Dad's never been a big wheelie guy. I'm still trying to hit that brake that ain't there. I'm bad to use this for one, one left turn and the this for the right turn because of the balance yeah, issue. I'm thinking about adding a rear brake. I think I like the idea of having a handbrake there at all times though, but I still think it's, it's, they should have put one on there. Climbing hills though, yeah. when you don't make it that there. But here's save. another thing. Think about this. I was just thinking about it. When you stop on a hill, you can't just drop the clutch and let it stall out and your back tire stops from spinning. That bike's gonna act is gonna act like it's in neutral all the time if you don't if you're off the throttle. So you gotta have that rear brake on there and you gotta stay on that bar. I didn't think about that until dad like kind of got stuck on the right stuck up there. But I guess if you're on the throttle or you could just grab the rear brake, one of the two. I'm curious to see what he's gonna think about the uh the power difference between the second mode and the third mode. Can you tell a good difference in the mode? Open up fast I can, down low I can't. It, it is very funky down low. Yeah. I feel like they could switch it up. I feel like it needs more hit down low. But maybe it's like some kind of thing they did for traction. I don't know. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we're, we're going to see Dad on a bike here soon. The video's not over. Uh, I think I'm going to go take this thing ripping. But you got to go charge the bike. I don't know where I'm going to go. I might just ride around here. If I get bored, I'll slap the GoPro on. I feel like I'm going to be fighting Dad to ride it. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're actually headed down to the Deer Club. We got the Defender on the trailer. We got the truck. We got the chainsaw. We got a machete. We got, you know, tape. We got to go down there to the Deer Club and get the trails ready because tomorrow we're riding. I know this is kind of weird just picking it up here, but we're actually going to... Uh, clear all these old trails that me and dad used to ride it's gonna be fun i cannot wait to get down there and ride tomorrow but a lot of trail maintenance has to get done well we made it down to the deer club like i said we got the chainsaws we got the machete we got gas i don't know how many trees we're cutting today christian are you ready we're gonna make some dope trails we gotta get it cleaned up dude yeah gotta get it ready julius hey where's pup at show us the new pup julius got a new pup and it's just like julius it bites every stranger it meets what up buddy what are you doing but uh hopefully uh if anybody gets bit it's garrett hey i'm just saying he does that that dog does not like garrett but uh we're gonna hop in the defender and let's go clear some trails baby Dude! bro 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 yeah that's the second time on that front axle you were fucking your your entire your wheels were locked and this was up against it. That's what I was trying to, was trying uh -huh. to tell you straight up. Out of all days, we needed four-wheel drive. Always breaking something. Ooh! <laughs> it's done, bro. Hey, buddy, we're walking home. Oh, my God. Is that? Tire rod's gone. Oh, my God, dude. Jesus. We're in, like, a deep freaking gully. Yeah, we kind of put ourselves in a situation. We don't have four-wheel drive. We don't have steering. It's a long walk, boys. Three, four miles. Hilly, three or four miles. If we had four-wheel drive, like I'd say we'd give it hell and dig, but, man, I can't even come down the hill. It's just spinning. Tires are pointing in different directions. It's a beefy, beefy tie rod, too. Why did I know something like this was going to happen today? It's just that gut feeling when all of us, like, hang out. Something always goes wrong. We thought today was going to be a good day. Like, tomorrow? It's supposed hey, to be a good day. Word, Tomorrow's going to go oh. horrible sideways. Yo. Uh, so, me, Julius, Garrett, and Christian were kind of... Fuck. Um, if I can find a tie rod, would you be willing to pick it up and bring it to the deer club? Yeah. And like tools and everything. We're like down in a gully, fucking broke the tie rod, broken axle, and we're like fucking trapped. Like, what do you mean? When you say broke, how broke? Like, it's a what? fucking U. I don't know if we're straightening this sucker out. No, if you could try to beat it back and it'd make it out of here, but I don't have nothing I can even beat on it with. What if we hook the winch around the tie rod and since it would pull leveraging off this, would it pull it straight enough? If we wrap, take the hook through the wheel, <laughs> I say we fucking try it. Would you pop the tire? I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're about to find out. All right, yeah, take it in. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah keep going. If we had something to beat it with right now, we'd get out of here. <laughs> trying to build me a hammer. I mean, that might have worked a little bit. Get a snap! Oh, oh. Get a snap! Broken axle, broken tire, broken this, broken that. Broken, Garrett's broken hard. Hey, what you guys learned? Uh, we winched it straight, somewhat straight, and then it kind of just bent back trying to get out of here. I'm gonna go pick one up. You got, you know yeah. who's got one? Yeah, I'm gonna go get that, and uh, I guess head to you guys. We also got a broke get right that. front axle, and we might not be able to get out of here without four wheel drive. Go to the garage, fuck, fucking pick out a toy and come home. <laughs> uh, we should, I, I, we should be able to jack up this, winch the front end up a tree. I bring a jack, but I don't think we're gonna need a jack. We ain't getting out of here without a tie rod. Alright. Alright, we're marking our first tree. Julius, you wanna do the honors for the day? I guess we'll start the trail here. What else are we gonna do? It was number one. It's like Amazon Prime yeah. over here, dude. Same day shipping. Bro, CT Raceworks? That's pretty meaty. Like Kyle totaled his machine and all the CT Raceworks stuff was like solid. <laughs> 
So much for marking trails today. Bro, we're gonna have it so right for tomorrow. I like this. Maybe we need to get CT to hook up the Defender because look at yeah, the match. They're trying to make a boomerang for Julius's dog to go fetch. There we go. Look at this uh, pussy ass tie rod. I mean, the powder coat couldn't even hold up. <laughs> I'd say CT makes a little bit better product. Yeah, CT over stock, definitely. Quite a quite a bit. Normal people's dicks compared to your dick. And the sad thing is, this thing was even more bent than that. Way more bent than that. Yo, it literally yeah, wasn't. The picture, you. the picture you sent me, I was like, we're not straightening that. About five o'clock, it's supposed to rain, and what? it's four forty-eight. <laughs> That's twelve minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> give me the knot. Give me the knot. Just subscribe to Kyle's Collins YouTube channel. Yep. I want a link this time. Put your fucking like notes on. I'm trying to go. Oh, what a day. See if we can get the hell out of here. We still gotta figure if this thing's gonna climb up or not. <laughs> Shit over. Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna take out the windshield. Hi, let's go to the truck. I didn't even think to call CT Raceworks to see if they had a any tie rods. Kyle gets a lot of stuff from CT. Oh, we're definitely not aligned. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! But hey, we move. You know, at this point, I don't even know what this video is. Like, Dad surprised me. Wasn't planning on that. Now I come down here to make trails. You know, that didn't really happen. Um, we're going to load up and. We're probably gonna go bowling so hope everybody enjoyed today's video who knows if uh it even takes it to youtube appreciate everybody if you made it to this point go down and leave a comment be like yo Braden, julius's dog's cute thank god kyle found some tie rods and uh was able to come and bring them to us and uh bring some tools what we literally would not have had time anyway to drive all the way to ct and to get them and come back yeah they would have been closed by the time we got there yep. so uh absolutely clutch Kept it from this thing being out there all weekend. That's the video. I'm going the hell home. I'm getting a shower. Catch you guys on the next one.